Good morning, neighbors. Where is the tree of Thor that St. Boniface chopped down? Ironically, it's fecundity of your own making. It's a big word, but fecundity means the ability to produce a lot of crops, fruits, babies, etc. Today we're going to talk about rubbing people the wrong way and trees. You know it's said that Odin hung himself on the world tree to gain wisdom. Would you believe when he wrote down some of that wisdom into the Havamal, it describes what is going on at this very moment in this conversation? And a very apt description of you, I might add. Havamal 50. The young fir tree falls and rots. It has neither needles nor bark. So is the fate of the friendless man. Why should he live long? St. Boniface made a church with our tree. We replanted. We have healthy barks and needles. And as you lose yours and the bark falls off, people leave your churches. And I speak to one almost every single day. And now the friendless man gloats. Why we build frith and community. Well, we try to. I find that low quality people often gloat. Lord over people. Your behavior does not grow trees to build more churches. You're focused on tearing those down and the trees of others. Your narrow vision has allowed these trees to be replanted. And now they flourish. New generations fall from our fecundity in the next generation. So as you focus on the singular tree of St. Boniface's knocking down, you literally don't see the forest through the tree. That's how the church failed. And that's how we've been able to regrow despite you holding us back and why we are so prevalent. A friendless tree gloating without a lack of vision or perspective. Maybe work on that. But the world can learn from your example. But when you think of St. Boniface and him chopping down the tree of Thor in the future, think on Havamal 50 for a moment, won't you? Because there is a bit of that tree in every one of us. Thank you for planting those seeds. Until next time, neighbor. Acha cha cha cha.